What is up guys, Astronox back for another gameplay video of HIT. So, just gonna do my daily stuff here. Um, I've already done uh, here the Tower of Challenge uh, for for the day. Uh, this is as far as I got. I mean, this good amount of uh, challenges, and signals and uh, uh, feathers, I believe. There are feathers for when you keep repeating it. Yes, you do get feathers. So uh, I was saying that I got 4,000. So like I said, I'm just gonna save those up. There. Just saving them up for now. And uh, yes, 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 need to buy those. All this, you guys should do the same. Buy those. It's like you can get up to 120 on a pull. Every 100 equals a, a completed part. So, like on average, you might get like four per day. I mean, that's that's massive. This those resources are like their end game. I mean, maybe more like between three and four, because uh, I believe maybe you can average like 3.5 on each of those things. Not too lucky today on the polls. Uh, so here, I have to calculate how much I actually gain per day. I believe now because I had a buffer, I'm able to spend on the other ones. But uh, if you just keep doing this every day, I think you might be able to only stick to one and uh, maybe uh, pull some of the others, but you won't be able to do all three, that's for sure. Two, maybe like one and like two, three pulls of another one, or you can just save up for one of the other things. And then you have to, uh, when you have a nice amount, you have to go do uh, the crafting. And this, you get five, you need 500 shards. And you uh, you need to sacrifice an immortal item. And then you get five completed ones. Yesterday, uh, I was not filming but I upgraded my weapon once. I'm pretty sure I was not filming. Yeah, I mean, you see two, top left. Well, so basically I did not notice, but you can only level, uh, like when it's trend, uh, when it's awakening level one, I was only able to enhance up to level four and then that was the limit. At that point, I was able to uh, spend uh, to uh, unlock the next level. And it costed 50, wait, where was it? 50 of those, I believe. 50, 50 is exquisite awakening crystals. So it's very expensive, very expensive. So what you want to do is, I mean, work on that if you have the extra resources, but after the growth pack, you really have to work on your armor. And to work on your armor, you need the, the cube, the jelly cube looking things. These ones need 25 for the uh, the first upgrade. I would start with the chest because that's biggest bang for your buck. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do challenges for today. So let's go with. Uh, 
mean, I'll just do the XP one. Oh, you know what? Let me just check one thing. To craft an XP potion, what is the price? See here. I could make five here. Sacrifice one piece. This is a, I'm not gonna sacrifice this. This is a season two item. It's worth more when you, uh, when you uh, use it, you sacrifice it to enhance an item, it will be worth uh, more percent than uh, season one item. Uh, the other ones are not a uh, priority right now. Those are, so I'll be able to uh, Upgrade the piece of armor soon enough. Check this real quick. Oh. Done it already. Oh, my bad. The XP potion, guys. So this is the big one. Yeah, those mats, I just don't have any. Okay, so you need to actually sacrifice items to get these 15, 15, 25 no, 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 this is not it Go and sacrifice like see this is so expensive. No. It just costs way too much. You should just time your potion just before the reset so you can use it for two XP challenges. But I'm not going crazy with the min-maxing, so I'm not gonna bother. Just giving you guys ideas for uh, how to progress as fast as possible. this I'll get like two levels I believe I got four yesterday with a hundred percent XP potion it depend how far into the level I am at right now I could end up just getting one level and being close to 75 also I did progress in some of the zones. Uh, I mean, probably maybe noticed that my AP's been going down, but I'm still not, like I did not drain all of it, use all of it. Uh, yesterday, I, I said I was going to make a video if uh, there was an event for half price on uh, adventure missions, but that was not the case. It was a experience and a item drop boost event. Oh, I did not even. Yeah, so I got 75. It's a lot of feathers. might have uh, a couple uh, jewels like a set of five that I can upgrade after this one maybe I'll get some uh, at least one jewel upgrade in my gear
I could see this game being like a really good time investment if you went to it really into it and you have the time and dedication as a free to play player or a pay to win player like well pay to win I mean the game's been out so long if you're really serious about pay to win in this game of course you'll have to uh, spend a lot of money to catch up to other players if you want to compete I don't know the exact numbers but the game has been out so long I mean the growth pack helped but it, I just feel like you need so many materials to catch up you know, like if you, especially if you want to catch up to other players that are paid to win as well I mean you can catch up to free to play but I'm not sure about the numbers for how expensive it would be Oh, that's all I got. Maybe I don't have enough to uh, synthesize next year. This I can do like two levels. But uh, from what I saw in PvP, yes, like there's some very powerful players that will come in and if you just started like now or started like a week ago, a month ago, a month ago you might have all your gear and all your armor uh, uh, upgraded to ascending pieces. And I mean, you just work on those growth mission, and uh, you save your instant tickets. You just save, 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 save your resources, and uh, always go for eleven uh, draws. Don't, don't buy like one at a time. Like my godstone, I pulled an immortal one because of 11 draw. It was that 11 draw one that turned into immortal. And I, I, I think even my crest, I think my crest, that, that's how I got it. It was the 11 pull that turned into immortal as well. So, it's, it's just, don't, don't, uh, I mean you might get it with a single pull, get lucky, but it's always a bad idea on average. Better to, especially like when you start in this game, you will quickly climb the tower, and this will allow you to get 7,500 gems very quickly. The gold pack, you start climbing, you do the XP uh, challenge with the uh, XP potion if you would time it like between the reset I wish I knew exactly at what time so I could tell you guys but I'm sure like just google search it and you can get the exact time for whatever server you're playing on uh, I'm not sure about spending 500 gem for the XP uh, mission you could just, early on, you have a 300% XP potion. If you want, just, you know, just do the first one. I mean, if you have a friend to uh, just add me in game. Uh, so you can uh, have me and uh, just help you out with, uh, I mean, if you're on the Asia, Asia server, I'm on the Asia server. I mean, most of you guys are probably gonna be on the other two servers, unfortunately, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not hard to get the friends that uh, have decent stats to help you out. This I'm not gonna do now. It's too long. I'll do more myself. This I can definitely do now.
So just go for uh, f first item I got was the crest, and uh, I mean I'm very happy with my pull. I, g I got lucky. I got an immortal one. Uh, has a chance to restore 1.1% uh, of my max of my max HP. As uh, like it's when you see a pop up with the three uh, three thousand ish. Yeah, 3,257. Yeah, wow, it's, it's happening a lot. That, those, that's because of my crest. And you can easily get that mod. You just get a, an immortal crest, and then you, you have uh, with the, the growth mission or just like normal adventure missions, you will get like 20 tickets to just roll for free. You just keep rolling until you end up getting that uh, replenish uh, life. And... You, I mean that's that's probably the only mod I have right now that's good and I, I'm not even bothering to just roll the have two amazing mods let's say but uh, you never know you, you might just end up like with the three super good mods yes yeah, so this clear this here Western NT310. I think that place is fairly hard now for me. Like, 310. I'm working on two zones before that one. I'm trying to. I think, I believe I completed two zones before the, the Western NT. I finished that. I'm just slowly just completing zones. I just have consecutive battle on. It's just clears them one by one automatically and it just pauses when there's a reward to, to grab like a, a challenge uh, reward or um, or when of course your inventory is full also guys uh, if you wanted to know uh, when you do the inventory exp inventory expansion you pay 500 gems it's always 500 gems and unfortunately you only get 10 inventory uh, slots each time you spend 500 gems on uh, inventory expansion so that's kind of unfortunate i was hoping for like more 25 50 but i mean it's a it's a mobile game it's it's a permanent expansion so i mean gems are not that hard to get actually early on in the game they're fairly easy to get you get a lot quickly but Especially with the growth pack, uh, because you're very much stronger, uh, like instantly, and you, you can clear like the, the to tower and all that. But you don't actually get gems that quickly in this game, so you uh, you might not want to spend 500 gems on the expansion. The thing is, I don't have a piece of item that's ascended, like an armor so I cannot just dump all my armor to enhance that like to enhance that item so now I'm just holding a bunch of items until I'm able to okay this is taking way too long this is far from peak hour right now in Asia I'll do uh, some PvP after this. So my record on this guy is uh, <coughs> around 90,000. <000. coughs> he only like kills me around the one minute mark. Unfortunately, the way he goes, he just gets much stronger, I guess. He has uh, some control attacks, like he stuns, knocks you down, and stuff like that. Or 
Or maybe not, I don't know. I keep attacking. Well, you see, like this is like some kind of knockback. But I'm still able to do my damage rotation. But it doesn't seem like it's... There's a couple millisecond there that you lose. You're not able to attack. Well, I did not get lucky with the revives. But, yeah, still ended up doing a record. But the reward you get uh, for this grade is... Uh, Kinda sad. Bundle. You see? 50 on this one. Oh yeah, let's go with the three on three. Oh, gonna make my team lose. Uh, there's something I wanted to check. It's, uh, are the tickets, is it like 10 per, for one day? Okay, you will be given 10 PVP points per day. Dual arena, a dual point every 10 minutes. One brawl point every 10 minutes. So I guess that's why like PVP is quite popular in this game. Because after you finish all your daily stuff, that's what's left. You just you have ticket for PvP every 10 minutes. And if you want to really uh, min-max on your character, you'll have to s like just keep using them. I know the one-on-one -on -one arena is very frustrating. Because first, you cannot auto. And second, well, most of the time, you'll just get destroyed by much stronger opponents. The, just the matchmaking is uh, not very good in this game. It just you always get matched with uh, against much stronger opponents but also you will face people that either don't know about the growth pack or have not taken the growth pack but it's I believe it's just because they don't know about it because I mean it's a pay to win mobile games when you get something like a growth pack you should just take it you could just go through the game slowly. I guess it might give give a better challenge, but you're just gonna waste your resources for nothing. You you're just gonna enhance gear for nothing. Just just a massive waste of all your resources. You should just take the growth pack and uh, get so it brings you closer to the average player. So you can actually uh, have a fighting chance. The thing is also that the growth pack can only be claimed once, from what I understand. So if you decide to make another character, so you might be facing people that are playing their second character or whatever and the uh, their power is like they're not strong and you can beat them but I believe most of the people that are not uh, well geared is just because they just don't know about the gold pack that's what I believe well sorry guys let's just go and brawl If you don't have time to do brawl in one on one PvP, you should at least get your uh, three uh, reward chests from each. Yeah, I don't know about the three on three, on three uh, battleground. This like I could use all my ticket, but 
just feel like I'm making other people lose. It's, it's gonna be hard to end up with two teammates that will carry carry you and they, they potentially have to kill three level 99 that are very well geared so this is like it's relax you can you don't even have to bother just auto skill or just go do your thing come back when it's done be nice to good photo repeat but you see like I'm, I'm getting some kills there's always that one guy that just comes in and just take you out a couple seconds I'm surprised I, I can actually end up getting kills. This game has been out for so long and like yes the growth pack is nice but I should not be able to kill that many people like I've not invested much time into this game for the type of game it is and for how long it's been out I'm not supposed to be like that strong I guess. I did get lucky with the Godstone and the Crest Pole to Immortal there. I have a decent level, but that does not get you much power. I mean, I have jewels in my equipment. So I'm kind of limited in the amount of upgrades I can do like in a day in this game I did play uh, Legion of Discord before this game I, I did not make videos uh, it's because there is this uh, game I, I was playing before called uh, Bit Heroes and uh, if you installed certain games you would get like gems and then with those gems you can just uh, try yourself like buy a, a chest that has a chance to give you a, a special pet or like an accessory and those two things are like are really pay to win and I was fortunate enough to get uh, the highest quality well highest quality they introduced a new quality but legendary for, for both and uh, I mean there, there was an event one day that if you installed like uh, some uh, sponsored games, you would get twice the reward in gems. So I did that, and Legion of Discord was one of the game. And I just feel like th that in Legion of Discord, you just there's so many more things that you can upgrade, and in a day you you feel like you've accomplished much more. There's always that your your power is just increases so high i think it's like people have power in the million and in the billions in this in legion of discord it just feels like kind of more rewarding it, was, it also like goes on forever like it, it's crazy how uh, how powerful you can get in that uh, in legion of discord and uh there's wings, there's costumes, there's pets, and they have the whole enhanced system, they have the auto battle. Uh, I have not played enough to to know or not remember exactly if uh, you can auto battle with skills on um, that you cannot do I believe. And uh, also, you know when you do towers in this game, well in Legion of Discord, the towers are every five level, like the boss battles, you have to manually do them. And there's mechanics for avoiding attacks, like timing your stuff right. So the game is more complex in that aspect and it's 
I mean, there, there's more work to be done. You, you cannot be like lazy and just auto everything. Or pay gold and have skills automatically go on for you. So you have to spend more time at your phone and learn the battles, the mechanics. And not, not as easy as this. Also, they have new servers all the time. So you can come in, play, learn about the game, and then when you feel comfortable, you can start on a new server and perform much better. Stay as free to play or go pay to win and be the top on the server, whatever you feel like. But they will merge servers and you will fight against other pay to win and against whales. And with all the specials and all that, they have a good thing going uh, into tricking people to spend more money. And this, this whole thing just never ends. So you have to be careful with that because they will keep merging servers and you will get with people that just will spend more than you are just stronger than you and you have to like uh, you just have to spend a big chunk of money to get on par with them and then they will keep, always keep spending more than you or like just keep spending on a regular basis and uh, if you get caught into that uh, you'll uh, end up <laughs> pretty sad you might regret your decisions but uh, yeah, they, they might just keep merging non-stop. I don't know about how, like how long, but there will always be a server, a player that's stronger than you because he started a couple months back, year back. But I could be wrong about how fast they merge server, and I mean, if they do it, like it depends how greedy the company is. Uh, if you check uh, well for these types of games it's good to uh, take a look at the reviews on the Google Play Store or I'm not sure how it works for iOS the iTunes Store for the reviews so take a look at that if you want to uh, spend time in any game learn about how the games have been run like uh, lately I mean, the, some reviews might be just players spending money, but they don't do research, they don't try, test out stuff, and they, they might just, uh, they don't really know what they're doing, but they're spending a ton of money, and they're just not uh, enhancing their gear properly, or spending their gem at the right place, and for maximum gains. Also, uh, like Legion of Discord, you, there, you also have to save up your your materials for events for the right times. Like you can't just spend everything anytime to get more out of your uh, resources. You have to uh, time it right. I might play some Legion of Discord, make some video later on. I mean later on, I'm not sure exactly when. But uh, I mean I'm enjoying it. There's a uh, Shadow Blood that I did uh, one episode so far. I I want to get more into it. All right, I'll do like Okay, well, if I end up fighting people like him all the time, I might give up pretty soon, but... 65 win streak, it was. Yeah. Really? Just kill me. Of 
course you were lucky. Oh, it's always gonna be him. Okay, next one, I'm not gonna press retry instantly. I'll wait like three seconds. Oh, by the way, the the things at the top left of uh, person's portrait is their their like uh, rank, depending on how, how many points you have. Like a week to build up your points, and then uh, you can uh, reach new tiers, and this will decide what. Uh, what shows up at the top left of your portrait. I have nothing because, well, I've not been doing PvP. I believe PvP is how you actually get better rank. It might be the only way. I need some like 28,000 points. Kills more. Profound. Close battle. You try, maybe I get him again for another good battle. How did I beat him? He's much stronger than me. It's like he has 50% more survival and damage than me. Okay, so I wait for the knockdown so it does my come my knock up. Now I start doing my skills. But it's like I don't want to do my skills instantly because I, I wait for Okay well so I can get in here. Because I want my uh, my combo to reset. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay. Now this skill, I'm not even sure if it knocks up. Anyways, I did much better this time and my stats are 50% lower than him. So I must be doing something right or he's playing totally wrong. It's all about using my combo. Well, okay, this one, I mean... There, there's no way I beat this guy unless it, like, he can easily beat me with just auto attack. I mean, he, he might just like two shot me. Oh, okay, he decided to uh, use his auto attack and just m destroyed me. Okay, I'll wait three seconds and do the last one. I mean, it's not the last one, but I have more tickets. It's just I don't want to bore you guys with like a million PvP battle. Oh. He, his stats are close to mine 
just never know what could happen. It's like when I've been beating that guy with 50% higher stats than me, just never know. Okay, so I start with auto attacking, then it just combos automatically. There, and then charge, boom. Just this alone, you see 22 combos, it dealt a lot of damage. And after that's done, I start doing my skills. But I want to go check something about my skills, like which of all, I have only two out of the three skills I have that knocks the target up. But you don't just want to use all your skills all at once because if you're trying to combo, if you're invested into a combo, you have to wait until your combo resets, like the, the cooldown resets because you're just gonna knock up or knock down the target and you won't be able to chain into your combo so it's just a massive waste it, yes it does buy you time because the target will be controlled he won't be able to attack you so that acts kind of as a defense mechanism but here you see combo i invested everything into this and and this is i need to knock up the target so pvp see fully invested now the first skill uh, is a knock up and it's enhanced from my weapon and the engulfing strike that's another knock up but this just is just a knockdown i did not like this because yes it's a knockdown and i can move while spinning but i felt like it's just the whole move took way too long and there's one of it's one of these two it's just the whole animation takes way too long uh, and i'm not sure but maybe a knockdown lasts longer than an actual stun and this is stunning target so it's like a area stun that could be better for um better for uh, pv content uh, to control packs and take less damage so this this I believe I don't like this skill that much it says some like it might be the skill that charges toward the target it says charge twice then continue attacking knocking the target down I felt I think this skill is just too easy to avoid and it's like if the the PV target and PvP decide to just move to to the side a bit you he can avoid your whole combo versus this i believe is just more instant damage and then applies the knockdown like almost instantly so i think this setup just works good for me and for passive if you guys want to copy my setup okay so well, yeah, just offense stuff and uh, the defense and defense for PvP. Okay, this this is a massive mistake here because I don't have counter attack. I forgot about this here. You should invest into either reduce debuff duration, either this. So you get frozen and stuff like that. But this is, you know, like it's like half the target might be melee, half the target might be range. This should work against PvP targets. Wait, no, dealt to large monsters. Players are not monsters. Same thing here. Uh, so, it's either resistance or reduce damage from melee range attack. I've died to many melee players, if not, I've died to many range players, but I felt like maybe I died to more players, players that were melee. Could be wrong, but I'll just go with this here. It's just a safer bet. points bosses are a problem 
NPV, so taking less damage from them is nice. It's a bunch of gold. Not like I really need it at the, need it at the moment, but I'll just take it. Enhance equipment five times. Never actually like complete my daily quest. Another thing that I'm not doing to min max. How's my you can see here my inventory is two hundred and ten. And this is what I select when I want to salvage uh, stuff. I, I feel like you should keep like the heroic stuff and up, so. I, I'm running out of space quite frequently when I'm doing uh, PvE missions. Show you guys in adventures. That's my progression now. Loon runes is completed with tip and dust. Of course, still in planes, this is finished. This here is uh, still easy, I believe. Yes, still easy. I can maybe complete this whole area. I am more than halfway done. Now, Taran outskirts was getting hard, I believe. Not even, but it will get hard soon. Now, okay, Western Anti and then Eastern Anti. Western was getting hard, f like, really hard, I think. Yes. I could not actually win with auto skill, I think, here. Because uh, you see previous stage, I got only one star. I might be able to do it now, but this, I progressed there not long ago. Eastern anti remains. I think it's hard here. Yeah, you see? Just first stage. First stage here is already quite something. So yeah, that's that's it for uh, my progression. Let's just go uh, see here how many chests I can open. A couple. Eight. Oh, nice. Oh. Not good. That's not good. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, I got a couple of awakening crystals, so I can't complain. Okay. Number of chests open. So I should be able to grab the epic godstone card here. Do I just need to refresh? Oh no. Oh, okay. I'm able to do it. And this is not gonna work because I need 100. So it says that I need to uh, reset the game, I believe. Uh, what is this? Knock down and attack boost. It's not a weapon for my character. It's for like the tank class. Probably the only class that can uh, counter attack. All right, this is just like the the bad pull. So I'll uh, I'll call it here, guys, for the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, well, you know what to do. Peace out. See you in the next one. Astronauts out.